is Marcellus and this is Lycan Vision. Now, if you don't know what a lycan is, it's a shorter term for the name lycanthrope, which means a wolf, that's me, I'm your wolf. You want to look it up? That's how you spell it. And you can look, you can Google it or something, all right? All right, let's put it like this. I'm a nerd and I'm going to tell you my vision, my opinion, and anything that's pop culture. We're going to talk anything politics, comic book, uh, movies, news, uh, anime. I'm a big anime person, as you can tell. As you can tell. I'm a big comic book nerd, too. My collection is out of control. I'm a big Gambit uh, fan. My son's actually named after Remy, but that's, that's, that's some other stuff. Let's get into this, though. Our first episode is on this man right here. The Black Panther. Now, there's been a lot of controversy around this movie and it coming up and just the hero itself, especially for my own people, which makes me kind of mad because it's been a long time since we've had anything like us represented in mainstream film. You know, shout out to Blade, shout out to Wesley Snipes. You did your thing, man. That was, I grew up watching you and I'm proud to have something like that growing up. And now we got something new. We got Black Panther and I'm loving it. But I don't like the controversy that surrounded it. Um, number one, they tried to get white males against it. And I know a lot of white males. I'm a stand-up comedian, and uh, most of the peers that I'm working with are white males, and they're hilarious. They're great guys, and they're all excited. They're more excited than me to see Black Panther, <laughs> and it's crazy. And they're not just faking the funk. They mean it. They can't wait to see this movie, and they're, they've been a big fan of Black Panther since its creation. All right, let's get into its creation. I got some facts here. Give me a second. Um, I actually saw some people that weren't nerdy trying to quote facts about Black Panther. Let me quote the facts in the right way, all right? So... In January 1977, that's when Black Panther number one came out. But that was his own standalone comic. A lot of people like to reference that and say, well, the Black Panther movement started in October 1966. That's when the official Black Panther movement got started. And the comic book didn't come out to 1977. No, that was his first full comic book. That was his. His first appearance was actually in 1966, July. Not October, July, in the Fantastic Four, uh, number 52. And that's just amazing. If you think about it, it predates the Black Panther movie itself by a few months. Now, that's not to say that they didn't hear about it and they didn't think something was great about it. But we're talking about two white males, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, creating a character called Black Panther, a black man that's going to protect his people and his land from the white man. If that's not dope, I don't know what dope is. And if you guys want to say that as like cultural appropriation or whatever the hell, um, white, I, anything, eat whitewash, anything you want to say that it is, fuck you. I, that's just for me. I got nothing, nothing intelligent, nothing to go against that. Just fuck you. All right. Sorry. That's just how I feel. Um, I'm probably going to cut that out. Let's get back into this. Uh, 1977 was his first comic, but his first appearance was in 1966, July, um, in Fantastic Four number 52, which is dope. I mean... He went against some of the smartest, big, I mean, which is dope because he goes against the Fantastic Four and that's some of the smartest, biggest, baddest in, the, in Marvel at the time. Um, that's the first family right there. Um, when we get into other things, the second thing, well, the, that was one thing, a white males. I don't, I don't believe that. The second thing is when they tried to get black women to boycott it because they came out and they were like, well, Michael B. Jordan's uh, fiance is white and he don't like the sisters and this and that. Look, the man can marry and love whoever he wants. We never say that you have to be exclusively into black just to be in this movie. And the sisters, I have to say, I'm proud of y'all. You didn't fall for that crap. You didn't go in and be like, yeah, we going to boycott it. Y'all said that was stupid. We don't care. We didn't want him anyway. We got some time. Forget it. We don't care. He can do what he want. Love is blind. And I, 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 I'm proud of you guys. You didn't fall for that bait. That was the second one when they were trying to do that. This third one is really making me mad because they didn't go after the white people. They didn't go after the black people. Well, they didn't go after black women. They just said, forget it. We're going to go after black people as a whole. Right now, I think Vivica A. Fox was the person that jumped on this right now. They want to petition Black Panther to um, give 25% of his proceeds to black communities. Or I, They didn't even really um, explain it correctly, but just back to the black... They want to give 25% of the proceeds from this movie back to the black community. I hate to tell you this, but there's only two white people in this movie. I mean, main actors. Everybody else is black. They're getting paid. And you don't think that they're putting their money back in their community? These are actors. Some of these actors haven't acted in a long time. I mean, they've been on TV and whatnot, but to be in a mainstream Marvel movie, this is bread and butter. And you got the nerve to say boycott this and petition that. You trying to take out of their pockets? Just because you feel that you have some type of, I don't know, I don't even understand this. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, they did something for our people by creating this in a time when they could have been, they could have just, they could have been 
blacklisted. They probably were blacklisted. There's probably a lot of bullshit that they got from creating this character and putting it out at that time period. The character celebrates black people as a whole. Um, me being a nerd, I've been into comic books my whole life. I got a collection of over a thousand probably. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just hitting over a thousand right now. And there's not any characters that's like us. Honestly, uh, Falcon, he's really dope. Black Goliath was crazy. He's really dope. I'm glad to see that they're going to put him in Ant-Man. Shout out to Loris Finchburn playing um, Bill Foster. And we just, uh, a War Machine was always a dope one. Shout out to Don Cheeto. Uh, we have characters out there. Storm, man, shout out to Holly Berry. And oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the girl's name that played. I'm going to put it right there. That's the lady that played Storm. I actually liked her better than Holly Berry. And it's a damn shame that I don't remember this girl's name over Holly Berry's name. But she killed it as Storm. And I hope she's going to keep doing it. But we only have a few black characters. And they're always playing second fiddle or just background to someone else and just killing it, taking the day. To see a character like us, strong, with his sisters and just his mom and just like the queen and the kingdom and the Wakanda. Like, man, it's like coming to America but Superman. Like, it's better. It's dope. And don't boycott this. Don't petition it. Don't do anything to take the money out of our pockets. We want more of these movies. And I promise that if we get more of these movies, it's going to put back into our, it's going to put more than 25% back into our people. This is putting 100% back in our people because it's hiring our people, it's empowering our people, and it's making us stronger. It's making me feel better as a black man because I, I feel like I could be T'Challa. Man, I could do it. It's everything that I, 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 I feel like he represents everything that black men are right now. You know what I mean? Once again, this is Marcellus on Like and Nerd TV, and this was Like and Vision, Episode 1, Black Panther. Don't boycott. Go check out the man. I think it's going to be an amazing movie. Um... Once again, let me put another picture of Black Panther right there. Man, that, that cover is just dope. Let me get a different cover. Bah! Oh, another cover. Yeah, I'm actually getting pretty good with this editing and stuff. Um, I want to shout out everybody that helped me with this. Brian Eric Johnson, he donated a lot of these comics. Um, I want to shout out my wife for giving me the shirt. And everybody that has been a part of this. Um, tune in to Like and Nerd TV. We're going to have different comic reviews, all different things. And I can't wait to do episode two. Ah. And I can't wait to do episode two of Lycan Vision. Peace.